one thing about using steel is, is that I really enjoy using it is because that uh, we often have a conversation about what it wants to do and what it doesn't want to do. When I'm trying to manipulate it, uh, that it's telling me, no, no, I don't want to go that way. And I try to tell it, yes, yes, you want to go that way. And so we continually go back and forth. And um, I, I, I really enjoy uh, this conversation that I'm having with this piece of metal. I began making artwork in college, and I think what my professors taught me is that art has a tremendous amount of substance. And that's why I really started to take off and to use art as a way to kind of externalize some of my feelings to make a piece, you know, to make it become real. Most of those issues started to begin around 2009. It was the economic fallout. Uh, I was living in southeast Michigan and I realized at a family holiday that more than 50 percent of my family worked for the automotive industry and so um, I started to take like photographs of my family at these events and I ended up taking that photo back to the studio and I was starting to experiment with some materials that I found um, on research sites and used motor oil was one of them so I blew up this family portrait onto a big piece of paper and I started to fill in paint on with used motor oil and um, I started to combust it or to light it on fire and this was really kind of symbolizing my sympathies for them for this economic insecurities that they had. At the later stages of my school training I was working on this one piece called Manufacturing Sympathies. And the two sides really started to collide my studio practice and my observations about the world. And uh, I was doing some of this external research of talking to people who worked in the industry and also doing tours of factories and visits to unemployment banks. And I started to really kind of develop and kind of synthesize my work into something that I could really start to call my own. And the results were a lot of experimentation in the studio of trying to uh, manipulate these materials that are not so uh, standard in art practices like um, using iron shavings and magnets and making a movable surface or uh, igniting used motor oil on a piece of paper become really kind of new to me and through that kind of spontaneity kind of ignited my creativity. My current work is starting to take progression with this idea of marriage with industry and energy and I was just offered the opportunity to exhibit in a larger space and so to really increase the size of my work is something I really wanted to do. I'm still working kind of with the figure a lot of the times. Um, I like it because it's accessible in one way where the viewer can understand that um, it's about people but also trying to experiment with new ways in which to put the figure together become really exciting. This possibility of the work having um, a relationship with the architecture and the reference to human scale and so how you can walk through it and around it uh, becomes really exciting for me. At first I really didn't like the CNC cutter. Um, I didn't like it because I had to try something new and that I didn't know. It was unfamiliar and I, my friends kind of pushed me towards it and I really enjoy working with it now because it's opened up other possibilities in my artwork that I couldn't do with simple steel fabrication. And um, I like that. I, and I wish I did it sooner because it kind of embraces that 
idea of creativity, of trying something new or trying something different. And that's what I hope I don't become as an artist, of doing something over and over again. I, I, I hope that I can change.